Hey guys, this is Grant, and this is um, a Windows user switches to Mac for a week. The reason this video is being shot on the last day is because the main reason is because I didn't realize how bad my front camera was, and I shot with that for a little bit, and I just felt like I could just do it better. On the last day so basically what I'm going to explain is what I did on this computer and how my experience was the two computers I used in during this challenge it wasn't really a challenge it was actually very easy are this right here it is a 21 and a half inch iMac from 2011 and I used OpenCore to upgrade. Also, I guess I can take it out of my bag and give me a second. It's like right here, and it's under the tripod, so it may make it shake a little. So, the other Mac is this. A late, or I think it's early 2014 MacBook Air. This has 4 gigabytes of RAM. The iMac over here has 12, and uh, yeah. So, my overall experience, experience with the iMac was pretty good. Every day I got home, I either went like to YouTube. I've been trying out this browser, I kinda like it. I, I've also started testing their Windows beta version, which I haven't done that this week at all because I hasn't I haven't been using Windows this week. So this is basically what I, did. I just watched YouTube. There wasn't really anything else I needed to do. Except there were some issues with getting monitor set up. Like at one point when I entered full screen on the monitor, there it wouldn't enter full screen and the window would just close and I couldn't get back the window I just had to restart the app. I ended up fixing that with uh, I think switching my main display to the monitor and uh, that ended up fixing it like I can show you right here I can go over here and yep switch to tab then I can side to watch what great video I want to watch. And I can go like this. Hey guys, this is Grant, and today we My, are taking a this look is HD. at old iOS apps or games. Does YouTube really compress that much? Screw this, 4K. I always have to see the old iOS apps in 4K. So this right here is my... Yeah, I can kind of see it. Um, whatever, that doesn't really matter right now. Secondary. So, um, yeah. I... That was a problem that I ran into. Problem that I fixed that didn't really need to be fixed because I actually did not really feel like playing any games on this computer is I did play a little bit of Half-Life but I used Wineskin let me close this real quick to um, get Steam running the Windows version specifically so I can just play Windows games so it's kinda like a Windows inbuilt thing or whatever where it can just run Windows apps which is pretty cool So, yeah, I'm gonna close the Spotify window, maybe that's, oh no. Yeah, these apps are kind of pretty slow. Like, you can see the lag with that. They're not very optimized, because, well, they're for Windows. And, uh, yeah, I just played a few games on that. Or, I actually played one game, and there was not really any reason for me to do it. So, now I, um... I have Windows Steam on my iMac.
which there's not really a purpose to. Well, that is basically what I did on the iMac, which is the more interesting part because with the MacBook Air over there, all I did was basically I took it to school, I did work, I watched some YouTube videos when I had free time, and that is all. The main interesting thing about the MacBook Air is that it is blocked by the school Wi-Fi. What I specifically wanted to do and get done within the week so I could just keep using it after is like spoof the serial number or like MAC address or something so that I could connect back to the school Wi-Fi. But that never worked, which is annoying. So uh, this is just going to have to stay here and I probably won't ever use that school again. And I have to switch back to the Windows laptop. And um, so on both, I was going to say it, I'm, I am going to have to switch back to Windows. I'm sorry about the noise, it's just, yeah, that's a little bit of a problem. But what would get me to switch completely to Mac is that being, not completely to Mac, what I mean by that is that either way I'm going to have to use Windows because I like playing games, but specifically what's holding it back is Minecraft Windows 10 Edition, because that's what my friend has on his Xbox, and I need to play Minecraft with my friend. Not really a workaround for that, I'm pretty sure. So, what would get me to switch partly to Mac is, I either get a new computer, or a MacBook. Actually, I get a new MacBook that is not blocked by my school Wi-Fi, and they don't ever block it. Or, this gets unblocked. And that would be ideal, because it's much thinner and lighter than the Windows laptop I have. The, the, the school does provide laptops, but like... Who, who wants to use those? No one. And I can just be like, oh, you, you blocked this website? Too bad. I'm on my computer. I can Google that website on a different web browser. That's not Chrome. And uh, that just gives me the freedom to actually do what I want, which is pretty cool. So, that is basically it regarding basically what I did. So, what am I going to do now in this part of the video? Since the video, I would think, should be longer, I am this freeze. This hasn't happened, so I won't count it against, against it, but, um, there's that. What I want to talk about next is that I put a HDMI switcher down there. You can't really see it, because it's under my desk. You're looking at the top of my desk, if you didn't know already. And, um, I can basically switch between the PS4 and the iMac. What I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be hooking my desktop computer back up, and hooking up to the HDMI switcher. So, since this computer decided to crash, let's, let's just turn it off. Two, three, four, five. There we go. And let's just let it rest for a minute because I probably shouldn't turn the fans that low. It just runs hot. So, getting out the stuff. to get the computer working. All right, so this is the cable playing as DVI on that computer. And there's HDMI that goes into the monitor. So, um, yeah. I'll meet back with you when I have the computer over here and set up. Alright, so it is plugged all the way in, and now it is set up. I know it's not like the, the best computer, or for Windows and stuff, but it works for what I wanted to do. 
I do plan on buying better stuff for it or just getting a different computer altogether. So, um, there it is. I haven't seen this in a week. <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. But there is everything that I have. Things running in. Hmm. So there's really not much else to do. The laptop that I'll be using to replace the MacBook is this one. Which, it, it actually connects to the school Wi-Fi. And then I could just do my work and stuff. But, that's it. Um, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Like the video if you are so inclined. And, bye.